Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has drawn a lot of attention with his vocal opposition to the Fort Worth ISD's transgender student guidelines recently added to district policy by the superintendent. In fact, Patrick has called for the resignation of the superintendent. He says parts of the guidelines are illegal. The board is hearing from parents right now. Fox 4's Dion Anglin in Fort Worth with comments from the lieutenant governor and others. Dion. Yeah, opposition and support for this issue involving transgender students within Fort Worth ISD reached another level today as we hear from politicians and students. Unfortunately, the bully today is not some schoolyard punk. It's our very own Lieutenant Governor, Dan Patrick. He's not here to listen or learn. He's here to threaten and to intimidate. The superintendent needs to rescind this guideline. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick brought his staunch opposition regarding Fort Worth ISD's new guidelines for transgender students to the district's front door. Patrick says he takes strong exception to a policy that will allow students who consider themselves transgender to use restrooms of whichever gender they most identify with. If you look at that guideline, what it says here is Basically, we control your child. And remember, this is for all students. So a nine-year-old girl or a 10-year-old boy, whatever their age is, they're going to have this, this question of their gender, and the school is not going to tell their parents. He's urging parents to speak out and join him in calling for the ouster of Superintendent Dr. Kent Scribner, who reviewed and approved the new policy. Meantime, the school board has reacted to the backlash with support for its superintendent. Board President Jacinto Ramos Jr. released this statement. Rest assured, the safety of all children is our highest priority on the board. We are completely capable of handling this in Fort Worth. We are applying the existing policy to make sure all children feel safe at school. We are here to look out for all children, not some, not most, but all children. Some students today at Trimble Tech High offered their thoughts on the new policy surrounding transgender students when it comes to those who choose to use the restroom of the opposite sex. You know, if you would ask parents, they'd probably be, some of them would be against it. But if you ask young people, teenagers, high schoolers, they're open for all that. Including yourself? I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not transgender myself, but I'd support it. To be honest, I think I think that's a bad idea. I think that's a bad idea. Yes, I would be uncomfortable, but I don't see nothing wrong because everybody has their own opinion, like I said. And I mean, if that's what they think it's the best, I think we should do it. So you go into a girl's restroom, and a male dressed as a girl goes in there, they're gonna feel uncomfortable having a, another gender in there. So it'd be, I think it's wrong. A oh, school board meeting to get underway shortly in which uh, many are expected to voice their uh, thoughts and opinions during public comment. Also today, Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price uh, letting it be known that she supports the superintendent, Dr. Scribner, on these new guidelines. The latest live here at Fort Worth ISD headquarters. Back to you. All right, Dion, we'll look for the latest from that board meeting tonight at 9 and 10. Thanks.